All right. Shalom, everybody. Peace of the Lord to all of you. I welcome you all. And uh, today we have a very nice uh, topic. We'll examine if Allah is really a true God or He is just a man made, created God for the benefit of the man, sexually especially. So we will examine what the what the Quran is teaching. And you know, there is no question that I'm not going to say women are better than men and I am a man. We will state facts as it is. So when the women is better, the women is better. When the women is not, the women is not. So our topic today is about what the Quran is saying regarding women. And remember, the one who came with this is Muhammad, who he claimed that the one who spoke to him about women is Allah. So this is not even his own opinion. This is his God. And you know, God don't make mistakes. Do God make mistakes? You know? So if Allah is a truly God, then mistakes are not acceptable. In front of us here, we have from the Qatar TV. Uh, I don't know if you are able to see. The only way for me to show you the video is by screwing up but you know that will show you like part of the head will not be seen but in order for you to see the subtitle so we start with this and this is a debate in the Qatari TV and those are not people from Qatar by the way Qatar don't even have people knows how to talk they have oil they have money only so what they do they bring Egyptian people because Egyptian, they are way more smarter than those who, the people of Qatar. We can't even compare. It's a fact. They are still in the cave time. They have a lot of money, yes, but they are just still in the in the stage of you know Bedouism, uh, far away from civilization. And this is why they hire those people to come and speak in their TV. So here it says there is different between you know, like. Uh, uh, the, the topic is about women and why you want to beat women. The topic is why the Quran says beat women. Let us see. وبين الاعتداء وهناك فرق بين أن يكون الضرب ظاهرة أو هو حق أو هو واجب أو قاعدة. ظاهرة الضرب بتنتشر. الدين هل يساعد على الضرب؟ لا الدين علاج يعني لما ربنا قال واضربوهن ما كانش بيقرر وانما كان بيعالج ممكن الطبيب الجراح هو الاصل ان هو So beating women in Islam is a therapy When Allah he says beat them this is just a therapy it's a you know to uh, uh, women, they need a therapy, and the best therapy is to beat them. Look at this donkey. He's wearing a suit, a tie, trying to resemble the Western, but he have a brain of a donkey. It's too low. The sound is not clear. Guys, why the sound coming clear to you or not when, when the video was talking? Anyway, you do not need the voice. The guy is speaking Arabic. What's wrong with you? Do you know Arabic? And we have subtitle, and this is memory TV. All right? So he is saying from the beginning, she's asking him why, you, why the Quran says beat women, saying Allah did not command to beat women. He is commanding us, beating them as a therapy. So the best therapy, according to Allah, is beating women. So when women, she have issue, what do you do? Dr. Allah, aka Dr. Muhammad, we can't say police upon him because, I mean, you call the police in this case, they will say to you, well, he have the right to beat, you know, you know. You cannot, you cannot say, I don't agree with it. So this is how stupid this religion is. Beating women is a therapy. Let me play it again so those who did not see from the beginning. Uh, 
Qatar TV, September 26. By the way, I did not search. I, I mean, I just searched Memory TV because I know they, they put uh, a lot of uh, topic about Islam in their website. So I searched in Google and you can do the same, you know. هناك فرق بين التأديب وبين الاعتداء وهناك فرق بين أن يكون الضرب ظاهرة أو هو حق أو هو واجب There's a difference between that uh, you know like uh, you know uh, beating because uh, you know something wrong with the society or it is a duty a duty do you see the word duty duty or as a rule <laughs> so beating women in islam it's not like uh, you know a bad things happen in society as we see around us this is a duty and it's a rule why او قاعده ظاهره الضرب بتنتشر الدين هل يساعد على الضرب لا الدين علاج يعني لما ربنا قال واضربوهن ما كانش بيقرر وانما كان بيعالج <تصفيق> so when Allah he said beat them he is not deciding to beat them he is doing therapy to women who is a Muhammad and would like to join us and discuss how Allah he think about women you see the Quran all over the Quran always treating women as a piece of garbage she is just a sex toy her job is to have sex excuse my language by the way some of you don't like the way we speak I'm talking about Muhammad and Muhammad is a piece of garbage so you will hear the word penis vagina uh, all kind of things so if you are a case sensitive person all right you better not to watch just leave don't leave your comment for me later what kind of language you are talking about. Our topic is a garbage topic. So in order to talk about garbage, well, garbage is our topic. Because always you will hear those people, you know, in the chat, he says, uh, actually, there's a guy, he made a comment in two videos ago. He says he don't like uh, me calling myself Christian Prince. He said, is that a servant of God? He called himself Christian Prince. He did not get upset from people calling themselves kings, etc. But he got upset from me because I called myself Christian prince. <laughs> Is that the servant of God? Huh? What the heck? Uh, 807. This guy is very weird anyway. Uh, he never said something right. Go ahead, 807. Do you do a therapy to your wife by beating her? Are you there? Hello? Okay, if you don't talk, I'm going to disconnect you. All right, take a hike. If we go in the Quran, we have to connect the dots together. It's not only the Quran teaching Muslims that we should beat women. The Quran saying that women are stupid. In fact, this is why you beat them, because supposedly they are stupid. They don't know what to do. And they are like, you know, you have a, you have a child, and this child you need, need a spanking. Uh, like, don't touch the fire. Huh? Don't go in the street alone. Don't do that. Don't do this, because he's a child. So in Islam, women are the same as a child. In fact, they have sex with the children. You know that Muhammad himself. Uh, his favorite sex toy was six years old girl in their calendar, which means she was five years old in our calendar. So according to the Quran, in chapter 2, verse number 282, Quran allow women only to witness in the case of borrowing money. In other scenario, women are not even allowed to be in the court, unless it's a court for a divorce. So only in the case of borrowing money, women are allowed to witness, but there's conditions. The Quran says in chapter 2, as you see with me in the screen, and this is 
verse number 282. Call to witness two men from among you. So the normal way is to write the right thing to do is to bring two men, two men who they are, witness. To witness, like you borrow money from him, bring two witness. And the two witness should not be you and him, the guy is borrowing money. No, two additional people who they are not part of the deal to witness. But uh, if two men are not available, available, then one man, one man, and two women whose testimony is acceptable to all. So not only there are two women versus one man. No, the women, there is condition. Those women, both party have to accept them to witness because women are bad. In the case of the man witness, there is no condition. Two men, they can witness it, even if they are not invited to witness. Like they were there, so they saw the deal. But in the case of the women, two women and one man. This is in case there is no two men. What if there is no men at all? Well, they cannot be witness at all. What if we have 10 women to witness what happened? They are not accepted. What about you have? We have a thousand. They are not accepted. What if we have a million? They are not accepted. And the Quran give us a reason. Read carefully. So if one of them fails to remember, the other would remind her. So what is the problem here? Memory. According to the Quran, one man memory is better than two women memory. Do we have any Muslim? Would like to join us? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He agree with this statement that one man memory is equal to two women. And if we have ten thousand women witness, and they don't have one man at least, they are not accepted. In fact, in the case of murder, in the case of theft, all those things women are not allowed to witness. Only in the case as the Quran mentioned. So if women, if there's 10 women, they saw a guy killing somebody, they are not accepted to be a witness. They are not, they are invalid evidence. Invalid witnesses. Do you have reference to prove that? Yeah, you can go right now, you can search, you know. <laughs> this is easy. You can search, uh, you know. The Muslims, all of them, they agree that women are not allowed to witness in any case, especially, especially if it's about uh, capital punishment. anything have to do with capital punishment which means serious you know anything is serious women are not allowed and the one who asked me for proof no problem here we go you know, I'm not a person who will say things. You know, most of them, they will call me and they will say you're lying and they can get me busted in two seconds. But they don't dare. So the question is, is women, is it true that women are not allowed uh, to, to witness in the case of uh, capital punishment or penalty? Go ahead, Ahmed. Hi, Christian Princess, how are you? A princess, okay. Again? I mean, it's, it, the, the name's going to stick now. Okay. So you insult me, I insult your prophet. Okay, no problem. 
So you're a prophet when a man, he kiss his belly. Is that because he was a princess or he because he same, was a homosexual? He said the same thing yesterday, which yeah, was false. Because you are the one who came with it. You said, you just said it's false. I am, I'm showing reference. Guys, am I showing reference? Here we go. This is your hadith. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. The mic is yours. You open this topic. Go ahead. What kind of a man? Look what they did. Look what they are doing. Look what they are doing. Two men. You know, they are mature men. Muhammad is an old man. The guy is a growing man, and now the man he asking the prophet to take off yeah, his shirt yeah, yeah. because yeah, he don't yeah. have a shirt, and then he okay. embrace him and he began to kiss his side. What is this? Okay. Uh huh. What's gay? What's gay about this? What? What? What's the problem here? I don't get it. What's the problem? Yeah. Your prophet is a princess Muhammad. How does that make him a princess? Well, if a man, you're, 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 if a man, okay, if a man, okay, a man, he asked Muhammad to take off his shirt, so both of them they will be topless, so he can embrace him and hug him and start kissing Wait. down his private part. Just say he asked him, "Why are you lying?" I'm not lying in front of you. Read it. Okay, okay. Listen, you're a scholar of uh, of Arabic. Show read, me it, where, read it. Where, read it. Read it. I'm showing you English. This, this is your Muslim translation. This is your Muslim translation. I read. I read it. You, you, you no, lied you about never, it. You never read it. No, I want you to. I want you to read it right now. I want you to read it. Read it loud. Let everybody hear you. He said, "Let, let me take retaliation." He said, uh -huh. "Take retaliation." Uh -huh. He said, uh -huh. "Bring a shirt, but I'm not." Okay. Then raise it. And then, man, where does it say he asked him to take off his shirt and and all this shit that you're just making up? Well, he is saying to him, "I'm not wearing a shirt, and you are wearing a shirt." What? What your prophet? He said, "Look, look, what your prophet did. He raised his shirt up." <laughs> Just me ask him. That's for equality. Everyone here can see you making things up. No, you're a prophet. What your prophet when when he said you will? I am wearing a shirt. You are not. I'm, I'm sorry. You are wearing a shirt. I'm not. So what Muhammad did? He lift up his shirt, exposing his skin. And what the guy he did? He embraced him and he start kissing his skin down to his belly. Is that down, correct? So you don't know how. To you claim to be a scholar of Arabic and you don't know how to read. You tell me, you can read it for us. What Muhammad did? What, is what Muhammad did? What Muhammad did? You, cle you, cle you clearly don't know how to read Arabic or English. Okay, read it for us. Go ahead. I already read it. No. I'm not going to keep reading it. No, did Muhammad, did Muhammad, why did, Mu did Muhammad lift up his shirt so the man can kiss him all over and hug him? Show me, show me where Paul in the Quran is. Paul? What Paul have to do with this? <laughs> I mean, you claimed it. You claimed it. You, just, just just like you, you are trying to change the topic to change the embarrassment, aren't you? Shame on you. Come on, man. What, did you, did, the, the, why the, you're a prophet? He raised his shirt so the man can kiss him all over his body. Is that what men do? Why are you lying? You're a pathological liar. It's in liar. front of you. Read it. Did your prophet raise his shirt so the man can embrace him? No. And he start kissing him, going down to his private part. In Arabic, it says kashhaw, which means all the way down his You're belly. A pathological, delusional liar. Well, and by the way, no, you, by the way, you, I want to. You have to prove more. it. You have to prove it in front of I us. I add one more. You have I to. Add listen, you have to prove it in the front of you. I'm showing reference. Yes, I can read it, and nothing of what you're saying is there. Okay. So, and I want to are add you one... saying to me that Muslim men they are not a princess when they take off their clothes, allowing other men to hug them naked, and they embrace them and they start kissing their skin down their belly, which means to their private part? Is that normal for you, Muslims? Where does it say that? Where does it say that? It says he start kissing him down. It says in Arabic, which means down, down his private part, not only his side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, show me, show me the Arabic. Put the Arabic. Here we go, here we go. This is the Arabic. Here we go. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Yeah, Makshuah. Yeah, Mankuah. Yeah, Muhammad. Manakih, Manakih, Masatih, Masatih. Muhammad, not a Malik, but he is a Qabih, and a Qabih. اخرج من هنا يا شيطان فإنك ملعون ولست بفهمان. إن كريستن برنسز 
You come to me each time you say that, I will put a screwdriver in the anus of your prophet with no mercy. I have more reference, by the way. This is just the start. You ask for it. You see, this is how the Muslims are. They cannot, they don't dare to discuss with you. They have to insult you. Will you insult me? You cannot bully me. What is the ultimate fault? He is the guy who will claim he can bully me. Ultimate fault, are you there? His ultimate fault is around. Somebody call him. <laughs> all right, all right. All you Muslims can join us. Are you a Muslim? Don color. See, they, you know, they change our topic, but we will go back, no problem. Dunkler, are you there? Hello, hello, my friend. Hello, hello. Are you a Muslim? I love Jesus, but I don't know my religion. I don't, I'm not asking you if you love Jesus or not. I said, are you a Muslim? I uh, love the attitude of the Muslims. You, you like the attitude? Not the truth of the Muslims. I don't understand what. It's it's more metaphoric, you know. Uh, I'm German, you know. My English is not good. Uh, you speak German? Hello. Yes, I speak German. Auf schnellsmacht die Stacht. What I said. Again, please. Again, please. I've changed the Yes, I see. We are talking now. Here we go. So now tell me, what do you like about Islam? Are you a Muslim or not? I can't talk to you right now with that question. You cannot talk to me with that question. Why? Your mom is there? It's, it's too many questions. I start lying. What? It's the influence of the shaitan, you know. I can't I can't lie to you. You are now under the influence of shaitan? What shaitan did you tell us? Tell us your story. Broke hearts. I broke hearts many times in darkness, and uh, I start smoking weed to get my sickness out of my head. Ah, okay. Do you hear voices sometimes? I, I imagine things and I see ghosts. Oh, okay. Did you ever see me? I see you in your uh, in your live stream. I'm on PS4 right now. I can't comment. Uh, in no, your, no. I mean, do you hear my voices when you are alone? Like you hear my voices speaking to you or something like that? I hear Jesus talking. No, I'm asking you, like, did you hear me saying the word potato? When you hear voices? I hear it many times, yes. I hear many times. Okay. So if I call you potato now, what you will, what is your response? I will say pray to Jesus. Pray to Jesus? I just said potato. What does this have to do with Jesus? So listen, oh, why you are why you are calling me? Why you are why you are joining me now? What what do you want to say to me? I will say, uh, turn back to the love of Jesus. Uh, okay. So, but are you Christian? I'm not Christian. I'm being uh, turned by the Christians every time they try to kill me. Muslims try to kill me. Everyone try to kill me. And they right. say, police. You must, be, you must be very important, my friend. You remind me of a cockroach I saw yesterday. All right. Everybody want to kill him. The Christian want to kill him. The Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhists. I mean, wherever he go, the people want to kill him, man. Sound like Joe Biden. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan here? I mean, Lord, this is what this is how I start my day with all kind of weirdo. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? What's happening today? Who is a Mohammedan would like to join us? What is today? Is it Hashish day? I don't know. 
Then the Muhammadan want to prove to us that beating women is a therapy and women are stupid. Ah, and we go back now to the question, the person he asked me, if there's any proof that women, she cannot be a witness in the case of anything serious. There we go. So this is the Muhammadan website. And I believe this is a website run by Qatar, the terrorists of Qatar. Uh, the title is Provisions of Women's Testimony in Punishment and Retaliation. All right. So the question here. This is the question. It is true that a woman's testimony is not acceptable in punishment and retaliation because it is a suspicion that wards off punishment. Is there a consensus on this among scholars, or is there a difference, even if it is simple? All right. So this is the question. The answer is... Here we go. All Muslims agree. Let me highlight more. I think it can translate all of this. Praise be to God, and prayers and peace be upon the messenger of God and his family and companions. As for what follows, there is disagreement about the testimony of women regarding punishment and bloodshed, and not accepting their testimony in this matter is the doctrine of the four moms. Awazir ibn Huber, may God have mercy on him, said, they agreed that women's testimony is not accepted regarding punishments and retaliation. I finish. Do you see it? Who is the one who asked me for uh, proof? Are you in the bushes? I will post the link in Rumble because in YouTube uh, they need shorten. Maybe somebody of you can shorten the link. And I will post it in Discord. Here we go. Abdullah. We have Abdullah want to join us. Go ahead, Mr. Abdullah. And be a man, bro. Be a man. For once, yeah. Like Stop what? Kicking. Like like your prophet men kissing him down his belly? Prophet. Don't resort to the prophet. I'm talking about you now. Well, I'm talking about you, your prophet. I want, you know, isn't he the best example? Isn't he the okay. best example? It doesn't matter. Man. No, it's matter. It's matter. Muhammad is the best of mankind. So if I want to be a man, I will lift up my shirt and allow men to hug me and kiss me down right. my belly. Correct? Or relax, relax. Okay. Are you re are you relax yourself? I'm relaxed. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Let me you. ask you. What do you do for relaxation? Do you kiss Prophet Muhammad down his belly? What kind of question is that? Well, I want to assure that you are getting the right medicine. Why this guy is kissing the prophet down his belly, man? You're right. No, no, no. You're right. Like, you actually have problems, brother. You actually need help. Really? Okay. Can you can you perform to us how the man was kissing your prophet? I have other hadith about him was rubbing his back on your prophet. You know, he was rubbing his back, man. Okay. Uh, you, you want me to tell you? Uh, tell me, tell me. Okay. Basically, um, the reason why I came here... It's to let you know you're a son of a whore, just uh -huh. like you said yesterday. Your mother's a whore. Okay. Okay. Are you done? You're, you're, you're a product of incest. All right. You're gonna is, it, is it true? Is it true that the Muslims accuse Aisha that she is a whore according to the Quran? No, that's not true. You're making. What if I up. show? What if I show reference? And go ahead. Go ahead. Show me your liar. Okay, guys. He said it's a lie. Okay. More wait. So you keep twisting things just like you said Paul is in the well, Quran. We will see, we will see. Here we go. We will see if this is true or not. Here we go. Yeah, sure. So we Paul will go. The... Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Here we go. All right. I keep chewing on whatever you're chewing. Okay. Read with me. I will show it to you. <laughs> Aisha, she went with Safwan and she did boom boom. <laughs> was Safwan, the guy Safwan, her boyfriend, the husband is old, and they accuse her that she is having boom with Safwan. And I can show you the whole story, but let us go to There's the Quran. Let us go to the Quran first, and then we will show you the rest of the story. 
Which one you want first, the Hadith or the Quran? Show me the Quran. All right. You get what you ask for. Uh, go ahead. Go All ahead, right. you liar. Okay. This is the Quran. And I will let you, yourself, to explain the verse for me. Yeah, uh, I have to do that since you can't read Arabic. You what, what? I'd have to explain it to you because you can't read Arabic. Ah, okay. Read for us what, what they are talking here about. Which one? Chapter 24, verse number 11. Uh -huh. Read, read loud. You said I do not know Arabic. You know English, you know Arabic. I want to hear you. You want it in Arabic or English? People, they are audience, they speak English only, so translate for them and read. Those who perpetrated the slander are banned of you. Do not consider it bad for you, but it is good for you. Each person among them bears his share in the sin. As for him who played the major role, for him is a terrible punishment. Where in, where, where, where what you said, where, what, what you said. What this verse, what this verse is about. I don't know what it's about. I have to, I'd have to read the context. Uh, you are the one who's a Muslim. You know everything. I you, never claimed You just read everything. the context. You just read the con I gave you the Quran. I gave you the verse. What is about? What do you understand I, from here? Listen, listen. Yes, Explain to the audience. The Quran is made by Allah. So the Quran is so clear. You do not even need tafsir, brother. So now you are the man who can explain the Quran. What this verse is talking about? I have to read the context. Read it. And then go earlier, go to the earlier verses. Go 10 verses earlier, no problem. Huh? Relax. relax. Huh? No, you open your Quran from your side because I, you are saying I'm not showing you the whole Quran, man. Just open the whole chapter from your side, chapter 24. All of them, they are verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this verse number 11. Okay, okay, listen, I'll answer all your questions, but can you answer one question? Don't, and don't change topic. Is it true that this is about Aisha being? Is it true that this is about Aisha being screwed? Is it true that this is about Aisha being screwed by a guy? His name is Safwan. Yes or no? No, it's not. Not? There we go. This is that. This is the tafsir. Where does it say? This is the tafsir. This is the tafsir. This is the tafsir. Okay, 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 okay. This is the tafsir. In the Quran. Okay, listen. This is the tafsir. Read it. <laughs> the accuser of what? Fornication. Who? Accused. Accused, the, you liar. The Muslims. They accu accused you, fucking liar. Why are you ah, saying the Muslims? I said they, they accuse her. Okay, guys. You, you see, first of all, you have a filthy mouth like your prophet scumbag. I would like to keep you here just for entertainment, but, you, you know, your mouth is so dirty. And we have respected people here. Guys, come on, I didn't know what to do. I mean, this is the garbage we got. We can garbage in, garbage out. So as you see, Muhammad's wife is a whore. I can play for you now a thousand million videos made by the Shia telling you stories about the whore Aisha. Aisha was a whore, and there's no question about that. There's no question about that. In fact, Aisha, she used to decorate slave girls. <laughs> which mean which mean decorate mean she put makeup on them make them wear sexy clothing you know and she send them in the street to hunt men from Quraysh oh the Shia said that no this is your Sunni books <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this, look at this. لَعَلَّنَا نَصْطَادُ بِهَا شَبَابًا مِنْ قُرَيْشِ What the heck? Aisha, she is going in hunt. I like hunting. But I never heard of such a hunt like this before. Hmm? So, let us see together what it says. I will use the same Muslim website from the government of Qatar, the terrorist website. Okay. Hello? Hello, hello. 
Okay, so I have a question. Are you Muslim? Basically, the, are you Muslim? Kinda. Are you Muslim? Yeah. So what do you think about what we are talking about? Oh, in the Quran, what? it says that you shouldn't do. It says that you shouldn't do certain stuff. You should so not. It's like it'll tell you, zina, it'll tell you like zina is haram. The Quran it says you should not fornicate. The Quran says that fornication is haram. I think so. Yeah. You think so? What do you mean? You think so? You're not sure. I'm ninety five percent sure. Okay, so but why Aisha here? She is decorating a slave girl. And she sent it in she sent her in Mecca and she said maybe we can hunt some men in Quraysh. Why she is doing oh, that? Well that's zinner, isn't it? That's zinner. So why is she doing the zinner? I don't know. This is the isn't mother it? this is the mother of the believers. You know? I don't know, mate. Huh? I think they do they're doing the zinner this one. I'm asking you why she is doing that. Um zinner is nice. That's why. Ah, uh, Zina is nice. So the prophet wife, she was sleeping around and she's hunting men, young men from Quraysh. She said, young men from Quraysh. Look at this. Listen to me. Listen. This is the hate in front of you. Abu Bakr told us, he said, Waki told us, on the authority of al Allah bin Abdul Karim al Yami, on the authority of Amr bin Imran, a man from Zaid Allah, on the authority of a woman among them, on the authority of Aisha. That she saw a slave girl and went around with her and said, "Perhaps we will hunt the youth of Quraysh with her." See, so she she uh, she chosen a, a, a beautiful girl. She put makeup on her. Yeah. She make her walk in the street, showing her body. And Aisha, she walk with her, so hoping they will hunt some young men of Quraysh for boom boom. Of our sexual exploitation, me that is what I think she should be sent back to the house, back to the kitchen. Oh, okay. So, do you agree with me that Aisha is a whore? Obviously, I think she should go to Jahannam. She's what? I think she should go to Jahannam. She's going to Jahannam. Oh, okay. Where you will go yourself? You will go to Jahannam or to heaven? Uh, Jahannam, that's where I'm going, mate. Sound good to you? Okay, I will send you to Jahannam right away. Thank you very much for joining us. It's time for you to go to Jahannam. Do we have any real Muslim here? Like somebody is mature. I mean, what? where I'm getting those potatoes from? I mean, what's, what's, what's today? What's wrong today? What the heck is this? I'm getting all kinds of weirdo people here. Any Muhammadan? I can play for you tons of videos with clear evidence, reference, all from Muslim books. Speaking of Aisha being a whore. A man, he came upon Aisha. He found a man with her in the room, in the, in the, in the, in the sleeping room, in the bedroom. <laughs> he said, who is this? What is this? He said, oh, uh, I did not tell you, this is my... This is my brother from breastfeeding. <laughs> is it, what? Muhammad, he never heard of this. He never saw him before. Never, never saw him before. How is your brother from breastfeeding? But he never saw him before. Muhammad, remember, Muhammad is, is, is an old man. He is 54 years old when Aisha was six. So he knew every man in the tribe. How this guy became her brother, and Muhammad never heard of him. Especially she moved with him right away when she was very baby. <laughs> he is my brother in, in uh, uh, breastfeeding for adult. Oof, 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 that's deep. So do we have any Muslim would like to join us? I warn you, Muslim. You want to insult? I will insult your prophet. It's up to you. Where are you going? I invited you. Why you left? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Hmm? Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? So we go back to our topic. 
So when the Quran says that women are half a brain and they are stupid, and this is why we have to beat them, and in the case of witness, only in the case of borrowing money, and they have to be two of our choices, and one man at least, so if there is a million women, they cannot witness for borrowing money. In other cases, like murder, etc., theft, anything, women are not allowed to be a witness. And we showed you the reference. This is the Muslim website, and this is the fatwa number. Fatwa mean is a holy order from Allah. So the Muslims agree that women in any case, especially in any case, involve a penalty. Any case. If there's any case, don't have a penalty anyway. In that case, for sure women are not allowed to be a witness. As you see. All right. So this is how stupid Islam is. What Islam is saying that women they are because they are stupid, they cannot be a witness. But if we go and do a little bit of study, we will find that women they can have a way better memory in many things than men. Like if you ask your husband what he ate yesterday, he will not remember. You ask a woman about something she saw two months ago. Like let us say you go out to a dinner. Two months ago, she can tell you what people they were wearing, what perfume they have, what necklace they have, not earring what they have, what the dress color, what the food, all the details. The man don't remember anything. And if we check science, you know, you can do right now, you can do yourselves, check about science. Like, don't, don't listen to me. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm not, you know. Uh, women, they, uh, they have way better things than men. I'm, uh, I'm not saying in everything, but when it's come to remember something like that, I mean, this is, there is no question that the women they will win and as you see this is just you know science pure science we are not taking side this is this is a national institute blah 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 of health government this is not a christian website this is not a muslim website this is those those are actually the one who control the government in usa are the uh, uh, the pervert of biden so women generally outperform men out perform men male they have they can outperform women in other issues in, in which in which one they are talking about so you can study you can research so all of this is a lie women have better memory than men Going back to the Quran, obviously the Quran is written by an idiot who just want to control the women, use them and abuse them, claiming that this is coming from God. If you read with me the verse carefully, it says, two women, so if one of them failed to remember, the other one will remind her. But this is telling us that the one who made this is a low IQ idiot. Why? If women, they have a bad memory, two women will not make it a good memory because both of them, they have bad memory. Are we listening? So having two women will not fix it. If I say to you, there is two stupid. Okay. So, in the case of witnessing, one man and two stupid. But they are stupid. <laughs> so, how two stupid will make it a smart choice? We have Zakir here. 
Oh, this is Zachary Naik is a joke. Yeah, come on, guys, don't don't put your hand up for me. I thought it's a Muslim. Do we have any Muhammadan? How this fix it? Having ten stupid, still they are ten stupid. Ten donkeys, they are ten donkeys. They are not horses. So it's obvious the one who made the stupid Quran is suffering from a low IQ. And not only that, that will destroy the justice system. Why? Because now we cannot have witnesses, they are women. So any crime, including rape, if a woman, if a man he rape a woman, she is going to invite four witnesses who they are male. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> if the women they cannot witness in any case involve penalty or punishment only in the case of borrowing money if a woman she been raped how she can prove that she been raped hmm? somebody his name is William saying CP has the authority to send people disbeliever to Jahannam my friend, I can send a lot of people to Jahannam who said I don't have authority. All what I need to do, I just let you watch Joe Biden 24 hours a day. You will wish you are not exist. Do we have any Muhammadan? You know the thing. Who is a Muhammadan here would like to show us why Muhammad and his God are so stupid? There's a person saying to Billy, his name is Billy in YouTube. I don't know what people are talking about. What the heck is this? Uh, CP is already married to his Lord. Oh, okay. Oh boy. I have a spokesman in my name. He's speaking my name. People are speaking my name. I don't know what to say. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Would like to join us? Focus, focus on the topics. Talk, talking about me. Any Abdul? Is that how smart your God? The stupid Muhammad, when he's he, when they ask him, you know, they told him your wife she sleep around. Three witnesses they saw. Three witnesses. What Muhammad he said? Let us make them four. Muslim, they say, no, this has happened before. Let us see if this happened before or not. Look at this. When a man, he heard that Muhammad, he come with a new rule, because Muhammad is a guy who sleep with rule, wake up with different rule. Maniac. This guy, his wife is like the bike of the town. Everybody take a ride. Whoever need a ride, he jump in his wife. Very well known guy. So this guy, his name is Sad. He came to Muhammad and he didn't know what to do. How I can prove that my wife, she is sleeping with everybody. Everybody talking about it. And now he have a bigger problem. He saw the guy doing boom, boom to his wife. But now he don't dare to accuse him because the prophet said, if you accuse a man of doing fornication with your wife and you could not prove it by bringing four witnesses and the four witnesses, not only four witnesses, they have to see his penis going in and out. For men, not for women. Women are not accepted. Be careful. Four witnesses, they have to see the man, his penis going in and out. They have to see the penis. So if the women, excuse me, Sitting in the top of the guy wearing a skirt, they saw nothing. 
They are naked, covered by a blanket in that area. They saw nothing. There's no proof. There's no proof. According to this, the prophet is going to whip their back as a penalty because they accuse a decent Muslim woman who was just sitting in the top of the guy naked. She's not fornicating. There's no proof. So the guy said to Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him. He said, Ubadah, he said to Messenger of Allah, Salaam, what do you think if I find my wife with a man? Should I give him some time until I bring for witnesses? The Prophet said, yes, yes. <laughs> The wise prophet. Hey brother, Assalamu alaikum. You are effing my wife. Can you please continue, please? Because I need to go and find four Muslim witnesses from Nigeria and the Senegal. You know? And uh, brother, when they come back, please, can you show them your penis going in and out? Like, don't do some position we cannot see. Okay? So can you please be sure that we can see the penis? Them, them, not me. I saw it already. Thank you. Don't show it to me. Not dog. I see it. I see it. Them, when they come, I will go right now. Okay, continue, please. Don't stop. Don't stop, please. Take your time. Take your time. This is religion. So women are stupid and Muhammad is smart. Huh? Seriously, Muslims? Who is a Muslim would like to join us and tell us where he live? I guess you will get a lot of customers. Four witnesses and they have to see the penis in and out. There is a hadith about the Caliphate Umar. Four witnesses. What? Yes, there is four witnesses. Four witnesses. So now we are perfect. Four witnesses, they saw the man having sex with the women. So Omar, he asked the first one. Did you see his penis going in and out like the pen in the inkwell? The guy, he said, yes. Bingo. He asked the second guy. Did you see the man penis going in and out in her vagina the same as a pen going in the inkwell? The guy, he said, yes. I swear by Allah. Bingo. We have two bingo now. He asked a third one. Did you see the penis of this man going inside her vagina in and out like a pen go in the inkwell? The guy, he said, yes, I swear by Allah. We have a three bingos. He asked the fourth guy. The fourth guy. Did you see the penis of this man going in and out like a pen in the inkwell? The man, he said, no. But I saw his her feet around her neck his neck and they were shaking like the ears of a donkey when he is running the caliphate says allahu akbar allahu akbar there's no proof allahu akbar <laughs> what <laughs> what the fourth one he did not see the penis going in and out he saw her feet around his neck shaking like a running donkey. So there's no proof. Three, those saw the penis going in and out. The number four, he did not see it. 
he saw something different from his point of view, from the window he's looking from. <laughs> <laughs> what a hilarious religion man i love it so the guy the fourth one he screw everybody and now they start beating those four because they they lied there's no proof liars Oh boy. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? Look like today is a dry day. We don't have too many customers. Any one of you ate pork? Pork? Do you know the Muslims are, they don't have phobia? They have phobia from nothing except Jews, Christians, Bible, music, uh, uh, pork, uh, uh, chess, uh, 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 dancing, singing. Uh, I mean, they don't have phobia. Muslims, they, we, are, we are the Islamophobic. We are, you know, we are, we are the Islamophobic. This is what they say. Mm -hmm. Muslims, they have no phobia at all. Look how open-minded they are. The guy, he will ask the guy, can you please continue boom, boom, my wife, so I can go and get four witnesses? You cannot beat that. Any Mohammedan? That is a serious business, my friend. Penny Abdul. There is something wrong today. There's no nobody. What's happening here? Something fishy. Muslims. Did you agree not to agree? about not to agree about the disagreement when I was studying Islamic law the first time I heard the doctor saying the scholars agree about not to agree about this issue because this agreement is better than the agreement for a purpose of this agreement is can serve the purpose of not uh, the, the purpose of uh, the, the purpose of this agreement can serve better the purpose of agreement not all the time if we agree is better because if we disagree can serve better purpose for us as a Muslims for we can choose one what the heck any Muslim here agree to disagree I mean the Islamic religion is full of logic and you know Any Abdul? Her feet around his neck and they were shaking like a running donkey? Obviously, there was no fornication. It's obvious, it's obvious. Look here, the Muslim is asking question. Maybe this guy, he heard, he heard the t story from me. So he went to the Muslim website asking them this question. What is the, like how authentic this hadith about the four witnesses who accuse a woman of fornication? How authentic it is. Uh -huh. All right. See it? So this is the title. Okay, let us go to that. He said... I heard the story about accusing a woman who she is married of four witnesses by four witnesses. 
in front of the, uh, uh, the Caliphate Umar, Al Farooq Umar. Let me use a translator. I heard a story about the punishment for accusing chaste women, four testified before Al Farooq Omar, and the first asked, Did you see something like a stick in the coal and the pen in the inkwell? He said, Yes, and the second asked, he said, yes, and the third asked, he said, yes, and the fourth asked, he said, I saw her legs on his shoulders shaking like the ears of a running donkey. So he asked, did you see something like a pen and an inkwell and a stick in the coal? He said, no. Then al Farq Omar, may God be pleased with him, said, put the punishment on them. Uh-oh. So the four guys, they saw the women having boom boom with the guy. Three of them, they saw the penis going in and out like the pen in the inkwell. <laughs> Number four, he did not see that, he's being honest. He said, oh, what I saw, her feet around his neck and they were shaking like ears of a donkey when he's running. <laughs> I wonder what they were doing. I mean, what is that, we Muslims? You Muslim women, what do you Muslim women? This woman, Muslim women, her, her, her feet around his neck and they look like they are ears of a donkey running. What is that? I'm naive, I don't know what is this. Any Muslim can explain to us. And yet there is no proof because the fourth, number four, did not see the pen going inside like the inkwell. You have to see it, you have to see it. So if you are a Muslim, you go inside your house and your wife, she is sitting in the top of a guy and she is wearing something, a skirt, let us say a skirt, sitting on top of him, doom, boom, 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 up and down, up and down, yoga, yoga, up and down, up and down, yoga, yoga, takbir, sad guru, sad guru. Huh? Sadhguru, he wear longer clothes. So Sadhguru now, he sit in the top of your wife. Huh? And he do boom, boom. And then your uh, wife, her feet around his neck. There's no, uh, nobody can see anything. What verse is this? Oh, this is not a verse. This is a hadith. It's a story. Story of, you know, what, what about how just the caliphate Omar is. Let me give you the link. Here we go. You can share it, guys, with the YouTube. And you can... Uh, because I will show it with Rumble. Th the problem with YouTube, I cannot share those long link. you know. You have to shorten it. So you guys, somebody shorten it and post it. Do we have any Mohammedan? So, if the Quran is speaking of women being stupid and they will go to hell because they are stupid, even Muhammad he says, he said to the women, uh, Oh women, give it charity because I saw most of you will go to hell. Why? Because they are stupid, supposedly. But you see here how stupid Muhammad is. If women, they are stupid, and this is the reason, they will go to hell. Well, who is the one who made them stupid? Isn't it Allah? So why they will go to, he to, to hell for something they did not, for, they did not do? If somebody is a crazy, is God going to judge him because he was a crazy, he don't have a brain? No. God will not judge someone who is not aware of his surrounding. This is not just. So if the woman is a stupid, and Muhammad he made it clear that they will go to hell. But you will notice that Muhammad, when he said that to the women, all what he want, or all what he wanted is to give him their earring and their bracelet. So he told them he will go to hell. But give it charity, give it charity. So now the women, they start giving their earring, start giving their bracelets. And suddenly now they will go to heaven because they gave their earring. So I can be a stupid, I can be a sinner, I can be the, the from the population of hell, but if I give Muhammad the earring and the bracelet of gold, I will go to heaven?
Huh? What is this? Earring and a bracelet will solve the problem? Do we have any Muhammadan? Obviously, Muhammad is a con man. This is what can you know con man they do. He claimed that they are going to go to hell, but you know what? If you give me your earring and your bracelet and your gold, you will go to heaven. I will, you know, I will make it. I will make it work. Huh? But a second ago, he said. They are the wood of hell fire. They are what? They are the wood of the hell fire. Hey, Abdul. Any Muhammadan? There is any ladies here. There, I think most of you ladies, you are going to go to hell. Don't forget uh, to send me your uh, bracelets, uh, brother, sisters. Listen carefully. If you want to go to heaven, your bracelet can solve the problem. All right. I have connection. I am an Arab. I can speak to Allah. I do not need translator. I am an Arab. Hello? Terelem, terelem. Terelem, terelem. Listen, Allah. Listen carefully. Those women, I agree with you. They deserve to go to hell. Yeah. I agree with you. Why I present? First of all, they, uh, you know, you know the thing. You understand, right? Yeah, just say to him, you know the thing, because Allah is all-knowing. Okay. So, and, uh, however, Allah, listen carefully. I told them to give alms to me because I present you, okay? And your their earring, you know what, Allah? 50-50. I keep all the earrings and the ring. And you take the rest. So, Allah, what do you think? They go to heaven now? Wonderful. Thank you very much. Allah, guys, good news. Good news. Allahu Akbar. Women who gave their earring and their bracelet. Allah, he agree to send you to heaven. Even though the majority of you are the, the wood of the hellfire. Look, 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 the translation says here, the fuel uh, of, you know what? I changed my, my idea about hellfire. I used to think about it as an ugly way. I go, it's a Christmas time. You sit and you have a fireplace in the front of you. And there's beautiful women inside the fireplace. Some are white, some are black. Some they are Asian, some with long nails, some with big butt, some with a small butt. All of this in your fireplace. So beautiful. They are the fuel. In Arabic, actually, it says the wood of hellfire. The wood, the wood. Wood. Seriously, can you beat that? I don't know. I think I'm going to work as a tourist guide to take men to heaven to see women in the fireplace 
and because they are naked and because in, in hell everybody is naked hello so they are naked and they are women huh? and they are the uh, wood of the hellfire but listen carefully i have good news for you if you donate your earring and your rings and your bracelet for the prophet muhammad and i present him here you go to heaven hey bilal bilal collect collect bilal bilal is a, is the slave of allah slave of allah prophet hey bilal collect collect come on come on yeah yeah you 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 have a ring there you like, like, give, give the ring give the ring isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a con man? So they will go to hell and they are a fuel of hell. But now he is asking them to give it charity to do what? So they go to heaven. You see how you can bribe God? Even God take money in Islam. You pay Allah, you are fine and secure. Money, money, money. Muhammad Hani. <laughs> hey, Muslims, am I lying? Here you see that Muhammad is a con man. I mean, actually, here, this is the only proof you have that those Muslim women, excuse me, they are half a brain. They believe the guy. And they start giving him their earring and their bread. Shouldn't you say to him, okay, what if we, so how giving our earring to you will make us go to heaven? Huh? How that will work? What is the connection? Somebody asking me, can you pay yourself out of hell? My friend, I just bought a ticket to go there. I want to watch those women, Muslim women. They are being the wood of hellfire. They are naked. And I want to watch that. What are you talking about? I paid money for this. Do you think this opportunity can come to you every day? They are naked. They are women. And they are in the stove. Don't you want to see this happen to your wife? How many times she scream at you? Your mother-in-law, as an example. Huh? All the time she give you a headache. Finally, Allah will take them. But don't tell them about pain uh, their earring because then they will not go there. So if you want to be sure that they will go to hell and they will be burned, never mention to them that if they give their earring to Prophet Muhammad, in this case, I am the one who present him. Uh, they will go to heaven. Any Muhammadan? Look like today we don't have too many Abdul. Yeah, desire front passages, I know. You see, guys, in fact, I don't know if you know this. Uh, Muhammad, he said that Allah will take out from hell special kind of women. What kind of women? Women who have nice and beautiful vagina and the beautiful breast. No way, brother. I'm very sure. There's a girl, her name is Fifi. She said, Christian Prince. <laughs> First of all, you lied. Where it says vagina there, and where it says a breast, Fifi said that. Where it says that? I'm lying. CP, you are a liar. What the heck? It says, Muhammad is swear by Allah that Allah will admit to paradise but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell. <laughs> what? 
fool. Look, 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 look. All those women, they have, they share one thing. They have desirable wrong passages. Oh boy. Allah, he knew our weakness. You don't want to have a woman in heaven and she don't have desirable front passages. Hey Muslims, as long I lied, as you Muslim claim, what is the desirable front passages of women? <laughs> if it is not the boobs and it's not the vagina, if it is not the stomach, it's not the legs, what are they? Any Muhammadan? Wrong passages. What the, what, what the word passages mean? No, Allah is not a butt. No, there's different hadith about the butt. There's other hadith says that the women in heaven, her ass will be one mile. So that is mentioned. Already is covered. One mile butt, man. I challenge you to find any God in any galaxy will promise you one mile butt except Allah. Not to you, to the wife. The wife. The wife, your wife, those women who Allah created for sex, each one of them, her butt will be one mile. Hey Muslims, who is the stupid here? The women or the one who come with the story that women, they will have one mile butt? Or the one who claim, he just told women, you will go to hell and now he's saying Allah will take them out of hell and he send them to be ifed? So they spend their time having sex in heaven? Oh boy. Any, any Abdul? We have no Abdul today. I'm not sure why. Any Muslims? People are asking me, how are you CP? Guys, do you think I'm going to read your text? I'm focusing in the desirable front passages. What's wrong with people? I feel like I have a cross eyes now. Do you think really I care when you ask me how you're doing? Don't you see what I'm reading? Women who have desirable front passages. This is serious business, guys. This is real heaven, brother. This is the real deal. Not those women you see in the street. Everything is fake. Fake eyelashes, fake lips, fake. This is a real business. It is time for reality. No fantasy here. No fiction. Allah don't take fiction. Allah fiction zero. Zero fiction. Zero free. Free uh, fiction. Sorry guys, since I'm focusing on the desirable front messages, my English is screwed up. Yeah, you know the thing. Any Muhammadan? This is God? Is that, this is God talking? So Allah will import to us women who they are from hell, which means they are bad. So Allah will take them from hell even though they are bad just because they have desirable front passages? Is that fair? So the women who have no desirable front passages will stay there? Is that justice? It's so beautiful. Islam is so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Excuse my English. Sometimes the word beauty does not come right with me. I'm like Zachary Nay. Get some breath. I told you to mention my name. First of all, I swear by Allah. If you mention my name one more time, I'm going to throw you to Joe Biden. Joe Biden is going to stay in the White House for a few months and we'll get rid of him. What you will do about it? Get some breath. First of all, Dagger Nayek, he is not going to make a prophecy. Uh, you have a prophecy. I tell you right now that Mr. Biden is going to be the president and he is going to win the election. Yeah, Abdul, your God could not even predict if Muhammad will die or get killed. How you can do that? Are you a prophet? Get the breath. I would be lah. I never say I'm a prophet, but I can predict. Oh, okay. So do you have all the information in Pakistan right now or in Bangladesh? Where are you located right now? Get the breath. You are stupid. I am not in Bangladesh and I'm not in Pakistan. So what are you? I'm between. Do you? Dakar, don't speak dirty. 
Why you are sitting in between? Kids and bread, because you are reading dirty stuff, you think about everything in a dirty way. Like, I do listen, it says in front of me, desirable front passages. What is that? Is it this is dirty or this is holy? Kids and bread, first of all, the desirable front passage didn't mean nothing to do with dirt. And then nothing to do with the cruel. Oh, so what desirable uh, front passages mean? The front of your car. You have a car. It is kind of beautiful. So the front of your car is the front passage. It says they're passages. Do you know what pathed mean, you idiot? <laughs> Any Mohammedan? So women are stupid and the one who made those statements is smart? Not to forget the Quran saying that man have a sperm coming from his backbone and women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Muhammad was so genius when he said that. Oh, hold on. Just to show you that women are stupid and Muhammad is the man. He's the best of mankind. The best example of everything, intelligence, anything, anything. According to Muhammad, they ask Muhammad a question. Why the child resemble his mother, which may become a girl, or his father sometime? Prophet Muhammad, he gave the super intellect smart answer. He said, The messenger of Allah said, The man water is thick and white. Mm. And the women water is thin and yellow. If, 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 if yellow. Oh. Is that the Yellowstone River? Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. If, 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 if. Science. Genius, Muhammad. If Muhammad is not a truly sent by the genius Allah, and he is not genius, how he knew this? Hmm. So if your wife, she have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl and will look like her. And if you have an orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Obviously, women are stupid and Muhammad is smart. It's obvious. It's right in front of you. Who can beat that? Nobody. Can you? Hmm. You notice that no Muslim there to put his end up to join us because they knew that this is a topic. It's very embarrassing. It's easy to prove Muhammad to be stupid and Islam to be silly, garbage cult. Hmm? Otherwise, trust me, if it is not me, and they don't know, like, I mean, maybe if you are an American, blue eyes, etc., they will be lined up to prove to you wrong, you are mistaken, you know. But now look at them. Any Muhammadan? You know, when I heard this, I felt really relief. I don't want to get married because I am afraid that my son will look like me. But now I have a solution. I will never come first. That's it. Your wife, she said to you, come first. Don't listen to her if you're ugly. Your son will will, be, will hate you forever. Let your wife come. But if but what if you have a wife like Muhammad, and he never made her come first. He never ever make her come. This is what the Hadith says. The wife, the wife of Muhammad, she said. Uh, do women even have orgasm? The wife of Muhammad, she is asking, do even women have orgasm? Do they have a discharge? Muhammad, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So otherwise, how the baby will look like the parents, huh? Read. Muhammad, the man, the Muslim, the Hadith says, Muhammad, he f all his wives in one night without even wash. At the end, he finish. Now we know 
What's going on? Muhammad, he asked the woman to take off her panty. He say, hello, assalamu alaikum to her vagina. And he go to the second woman. This is the wife of Muhammad. She said to him, uh, what? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Does women get this charge? What? No way. The wife of Muhammad, she never have orgasm. What the prophet was doing in bedroom? Playing chess with her vagina? Your move? The wife, she said, no, your move first. Muhammad, he said, no, I swear by Allah, it's your move first. The wife, she said, come on, you are the man. You do your move. He said, I swear by Allah, you do the move, I will move nothing. <laughs> And now we understand why Muhammad never been able to make the wife have this charge. You move first. No, honey, uh, I'm the husband. You move first. I respect women. And uh, no, you move first. You are the husband. You need to move first. The wife, she is the one who wait for the man move. Uh, no, no, no. Listen, I swear by Allah, it's your move. And then they say to us, he have a power of 40 men and all kind, 40 horses, 40 donkey. That guy could not even make his wife have orgasm. Be Muslims, what Muhammad was doing in the bedroom? What technique he was using? Like they go in the bed naked and they are watching a horror movie? They win nothing? What this woman she is talking about? Look, this woman, Ummu Salim, she don't have a husband and she have in this charge. <laughs> and the woman who is married to Muhammad, she don't have this charge. <laughs> so being alone is better. Ummu Salim, even though they call her Ummu Salim, that means she have kids, but obviously now she have no husband maybe. So I don't know what she is doing. Don't ask me, please. This is private issue. I don't, please don't involve there. So Ummu Salim, she is having orgasm. And because she is a decent Muslim woman, she is coming to the Prophet says, Oh, Prophet of Allah, yesterday I was touching there, doing there some stuff. So, and I saw like orgasm coming like, whoosh, 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 you know, boing, boing, boing. So should I wash? Look at the question, man. Look at the decency. And look how Muslim women are so shy. Like, she did not go, let's say, for the sake of argument, she want to ask. Can she ask the wife of Muhammad to ask her husband? But this is Islam. She go to the guy, he knock at this door. Assalamu alaikum, Prophet of Allah, and we are proud of that. I need Aydawa to, to make it happen. A woman, she is asking a strange guy about her vagina, what she did yesterday. And now we have all the laundry is up. What happened to her vagina? Look what happened because of this story. Now what we know what happened to the vagina of this woman, what happened to the vagina of the wife of Muhammad, and what's happening with the penis of Muhammad. What we learn from this, that the vagina of Ummu Salim is working so good. Very good. What we learn too, that the vagina of Ummu Salim is broken. Why? Because the husband is not doing his job. Like, imagine the vagina of Muhammad's wife is the same as a flower. Flower? Yeah, flower. So the Muslim will not be offended. You know, I'm trying not to offend them. You did not water it for a long time. No? So the vagina is like coming down like, eh, sad, you know, very sad. I'm trying to make you understand what's going on. Okay, maybe we have a Muslim. <laughs> oh no, it's not a Muslim. Sorry, no, I'm not. I, I had a question. When it says, um, Whichever the, of them comes first, the child will resemble. I think you showed a, a hadith where it shows that this means that, you know, it's 
If it's the father, it will be a boy. If it's the mother, ah. it will be a woman. No problem. That's all? That's all, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know the Muslim, they will say it doesn't say that he is lying. But we have a solution for that. Let me find the hadith. All right. to see I have a hate already in, in Arabic but uh, I'm trying to find it for you in English so you can get the benefit of it in English right. uh -huh. ah, here we go The website is slow to open. All right. And look what the Muslim they add to fix it. Look, 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 look. I.E. Ovum central portion. What the heck is that? <laughs> the productive, the re reproductive substance of the man white and the women is yellow. And the Muslim now, look, look, they are trying to fix it. All of those is addition. And when they have sexual intercourse and the male substance, look, now suddenly it became the chromosome. <laughs> what, what, what the chromosome? <laughs> Reveal. In fact, it says come first. All this translation is false. When it come first, if the women come first, it's going to be a female. If a male come first, is going to be a male. Do you see it? They lie. So this is the, the first hadith. I can find you more. But as you, the, as you see, the Muslims, the Muhammadan, always they try to hide what it says in Arabic. This is why if you try to learn what Islam is teaching in English, you will be always misled. For Muslims are sneaky liars and always they try to hide the truth. Chromosome, Muhammad mentioned chromosome, oval, what ovum, what ovum. The hadith is so clear. Muhammad says the water of the women is yellow. The water is yellow. Look what they said here. The reproductive substance of the man. <laughs> Let us continue. Potato. There we go. Another one. Let us see here what they are saying. So here a Jewish guy, he said to Muhammad, there's, I will give you three questions, Muhammad. If you can answer them, that means really you are a prophet of Allah. So the question is, why does the child attract similarity to his father or his mother? The Prophet said, Jibreel, he just told me. So now the Muslim cannot say a Prophet is just a man making mistakes. It is Jibreel who told him. All right. So here we go down to where he speak about the babies. Where is the baby? Okay. Where is about the baby? Uh-huh, yeah. If the man discharge precedes the women, discharge, the child will attract similarity to the man, which means he will be a boy. And if the charge proceed, if the women discharge proceed the man, the similarity to the women. You know that women feature is women feature. So it's just not about look like his mom here, no. We can show you more reference. 
And this is Sahir Bukhari 3938. 3938. Let us show you more. Uh, there's more for sure, but we need to find it in English. Where is the hadith? This is another one. <clears throat> uh, another hadith. There is tons of them, but I think what we gave you is enough. But there is a hadith actually I'm trying to find where it says even clearly the word meal. Let me see if I need to change the search. <laughs> this should be in Sahih Muslim. Let's see. Sahih Muslim. This is one. <clears throat> but here, you know, the translation is not shown really if it's a male or female. So let us see more. It should be Sahih Muslim too. Here we go. Here we go. Here it says the word Adhkar. But I don't know the translation, what they will say. Uh, yeah, this is actually the same one we showed you. But you see here in Arabic it says Adhkar. Which means dhakar, which means a meal. So if the man come first before the women orgasm, in fact, Muhammad here is using the word semen, but we know that women don't have semen. It's stupid. So if the man semen came first, the boy will be adhkar. Adhkar, which means a boy. But maybe Google will not translate correctly. Let's see. Yeah, the Google translated as uh, remember. Yeah, but this is not about adhkar. And here it says untha. So if the women, semen came before the, the women, the born baby will be a female. You see it? If the women, semen, came first, not superior, the man, semen, the baby will be a female. Did we give you clear evidence? The one who asked me. Let me post the link for you. And this is again Sahih Muslim 315A. But remember, you cannot trust the Muslim translation. Muslim translation, they are adding things is not there just to cover up the stupidity of Muhammad. But that will not work with somebody who speak Arabic very well. Do we have any Muhammadan? Last call, any Muhammadan? We have a Muslim in this call saying Christian Prince is wrong. Why you don't join us and show me that I'm wrong? Get me busted. Why the Muslim who is saying I'm wrong about Islam? Why you don't join us? 
It's easy. You come here. You join us. You show them I am wrong. Allah will be victorious. He will give you reward too. What do you think? Those hadith are weak. Oh, this why is this is the book. It's called Authentic Muslim. Look, look. The word, the name of the book is Sahih, which means authentic. So this is the if hadith in the book. It's called authentic. If 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 if. That's deep. Mm. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you long. Just I want to share with you some of the stupidity of Muhammad. We have enough for today. I hope you learn good and you take reference. As you see, Islam is any humane because God, he created Adam and Eve from one body, which means we have really identical. In fact, the Bible says that God, he created Adam and he called the man and the woman Adam. The man and the woman Adam, which means a human. Later, the word Adam used as to confirm gender, like he is a male, and Eve used to confirm that she is the female. But God called them both Adam. And in case somebody will say who is smart or stupid, there's a stupid man, there's a stupid woman. There's a smart man, there's a smart woman. There's women who are so intelligent, and there's women, they are so stupid. And there's men who they are so smart, and there's men, they are so donkeys. However, when it's come to God, God will judge us based in our ability. So let us say for the sake of argument, women are stupid. How that will make them go to hell? If Allah is the one who made them stupid, that is not fair. So if being stupid, the reason to go to hell, you see here, we're not talking about being foolish, which means taking a wrong decision. No, no, no. We are talking about supposedly there's a defect in their creation, as Muhammad claimed. There's a defect. So if there's a defect in their creation, we blame who? We blame the manufacturer, not the product. Do we agree? If Allah is the one who made that defect, how we can judge them by the defect they have? This is how stupid Muhammad is. If Allah decides to make men smarter, and because of that they will go to heaven, and decide to make women stupid, and because of that they will go to hell, well, that's not fair. What about you made them both smart, and the one who is bad, he go to hell? No. In fact, there's nothing called good and bad in Islam. It's all is destiny. There is women, they have a brain of a genius. And there is women, they are simple. And nothing make you bad, by the way. What if I am not fast? What I am not the most uh, uh, high IQ? I mean, what? how that is making me uh, a bad person? The Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them. You might meet a farmer. He has zero education. He doesn't even know how to add two to two. But he will go to heaven, and someone have a PhD, he will not. And talking about two and two, I mean, even your God, Allah, is so stupid in mathematics. I will give you an example before we leave. According to the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he created eight pairs of animals. Okay, Allah created eight pairs. But you read the verses, you will find that there are eight individual animals. But the stupid Muhammad, he said there are eight pairs. Eight pairs is 16.
When I say eight pairs, eight couple, I am saying 16. So the stupid Muhammad, he is smart like his God. So he said eight pairs. Okay. And then he said two sheep. Okay, this is two. Use your fingers. Two goats. Okay, this is four. You know, and then they continue. Two camels. Okay, this is six. All right. Uh huh. And two cows. This is eight. What is the 16? How this is can be God talking? Eight pairs is 16 animals, not eight animals. So before you go, Muhammad, and teach people about science and logic and who is stupid and who is smart, go find out yourself how stupid you are. One verse in the Quran says that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Okay. Other verses saying eight days. Who? Hadith says eight, seven days. Which one of them? A person who is their prophet, the best of mankind, he is illiterate according to them. How many women they knew how to write, how to read? Is it the Quran says the one who knows is the one who knows is the same as the one who don't? The key of knowledge is to know how to write, how to read. The wise Muhammad, he decided to count for us how many days it took Allah to create the world. Here in front of you, count them. Allah started in Saturday. He finished his creation at the end of a Friday. In fact, if you count the word night, that will make it eight days. Anyone knows why? Because Muhammad and the, the same as the Jews, they are following the lunar calendar, which base the day count is by the sunset, the sunrise. So when the sun rises today, it's a new day. So today is what? Today is Monday, Tuesday. For the Jews, when the sun set, it is already Wednesday. This is the same for the Muslims. When the sun set, it's a new day. So the total now became eight days. Not even seven. He started at Saturday. And he finished Friday between afternoon and night. They are not sure. Muhammad is not sure. Allah did not confront to him. Allah forgot which clock, what the time was. So if the best of mankind is so stupid and his memory could not remember even how many days Allah took him to create the heaven and the earth. How is accusing women to be stupid and they have bad memory? Muhammad once, I suppose I'm leaving, right? So what the heck? I need to eat. I'm hungry. Oh boy. <sighs> Muhammad, he forgot. Let me show you the story. <laughs> Muhammad, he told him that the one who fasts the night of Al Qadr and he pray in it, or he pray not fast, he is the same as 83 years of a prayer, just one night. So now the Muslims, they want to know which night is that? What, what like, which month? Where the night? What the, what the date? So Muhammad, he asked Allah to tell him which night. He forgot. Remember, women, they have bad memory. 
the night where Muhammad received Quran, Muhammad cannot remember it. Okay. And then Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him. Allah come to him at night. And he told him what day? Bingo. Bingo. So now the problem solved. Muhammad, he came out. He is so excited. He ran in the street to come to his companion to tell them, I found finally the night of Al-Qadr, which one night equal to 83 years, which is stupid to say. He ran and he ran. And he ran, and he come to them. And when he arrived, yeah, uh, uh, Prophet, what happened? Uh, Allah just told me, when the night of Al-Qadr, oh boy, yeah. Okay, okay, Prophet, tell us, tell us, uh, when, when it is? He said, oh God, I forgot. <laughs> what the heck? He forgot? What the heck? So Allah came to him, he whispered him, he told him, and now he forgot. I thought only women, they have a stupid memory. Huh? I was shown Laylatul Qadr. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ Qadr. يَا أَهْلُ مُحَمَّدْ يَا بَنُ غَدْر then some members of my family woke me up. And then I was caused to forget it. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what do you mean? You just remember it. And they woke you up and now you forget it? And then he said, I was made to forget the Quran. So why he is, why Allah told you which day it is? This is how stupid this cult is. Garbage in, garbage out. I came to tell you about the night of Al Qadr, but I forgot. Uh, guys, uh, I want to practice something. I'm going to borrow a lot of money and I want to see if I can forget what I borrow from you. Who want to give me the, I want to borrow. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway. Garbage in. So remember here, this video here, the guy he claimed that beating women in Islam is a kind of therapy. It's a therapy, brother. هناك فرق بين التأديب وبين الاعتداء وهناك فرق بين أن يكون الضرب ظاهرة أو هو حق أو هو واجب أو قاعدة ظاهرة الضرب بتنتشر الدين هل يساعد على الضرب؟ لا الدين علاج Beating women in Islam is a therapy This is what Joe Biden he did when he brought one hundred thousand Taliban from Afghanistan to USA. Beating women is a therapy. Did you see it? And this is the video, in case you don't believe me. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord save us from all the evil. And Islam is one of the most evil cult exists in this earth. It does thrive by ignorance, like weeds, where no good people are located. No intelligence is located. 
And we are here to awake you so you can fight and clean your garden from the weeds. A wise man from the West, he said, and I think all of you, you know his name. He said, Islam for man is the same as rabies for dogs. Anyone knows who said that? Leave your comment. Thank you very much for being here. God is good.